Hello YouTubers and welcome to my 300th video. Today we're going to take a look at Clint Shiftwright, the Retro Piston Cup Racer number 21. As mentioned in the Cars Finder profile on the Blu-ray disc. <clears throat> Now, before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Clint Shiftwright is a Piston Cup racer that, who is the father of Kevin Shiftwright, the Clutch Aid Piston Cup racer number 121, who shares the same body mold as Mac Icar. And around this, in the 1990s, he won three Piston Cups and tied with the same feats as the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet, Lee Weathers, and Daryl Cartrip. So this version of Clinton Shift right here is my take. He appears to be modeled after a late 70s to early 80s Chevy, Chevrolet Monte Carlo and bears the number 21 and shares the same number with the Team Blinker racers, Speedy Comet and Ryan and Silaney. He made his Piston Cup debut somewhere between the late 70s and early 1980s and had retired I heard, some years before 2005. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, here we've got his happy expression, I mean, his happy expression, his headlights and grill, which is orange. And on the hood, we've got the Chevy logo and 355 CID and a bit of white eyelids and the black eye pupils and the white interior. And on both sides, we've got the silver gray rims on the black wall racing tires and the exhaust pipes on both sides. And on the door, we've got the yellow interior and a white number 21. And on the top, we've got another number 21, no name signature. And on the trunk, we've got the number 21 and the Chevy logo and the white ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we've got a bit of white on the background and the black back bumper. And on the undercarriage, it says we have the Matchbox logo and the Chevy Pro Stocker. And now, let's pull up some of the other three-time Piston Cup champions. We've got Doc Hudson, Lee Weathers, and Daryl Cartrip, and the other Chevrolet Monte Carlos besides Daryl Cartrip, who is a 70, 1977 model. We have Dale Earnhardt, who is a 1978 Monte Carlo. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., who is a 2000 Monte Carlo. And more Chevy vehicles, such as Mater, who is obviously, I'm suggesting, a 1957 Chevy tow, tow truck. Popo, who is a 1947 Chevy Coupe. Lenny, a 1969 Camaro. Ramon, who is a 1959 Impala Lowrider Hot Rod. And Jeff Corvette, who is a 2009 Corvette C6R. And some of the other Piston Cup racers that, that have a similar body mold to him. We have Chick Hicks. 
Krusty Rodor, Floyd Mulvihill, Claude Scruggs, Murray Clutchburn, Ernie Gearson, Greg Candyman, Misty Motocross, and James Clean Air. And that is it. Oh, and I kind of forgot to... Oh, almost. And let's not forget, the Team Blinker racers that share his number, 21, Speedy Comet, and Ryan Inside Laney. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that his grandfather, Kurt Shiftwright, raced in the Piston Cup on the dirt in the 50s, followed by his... Father, Craig Shiftwright, who raced in the Piston Cup in the 70s, and had won two Piston Cups somewhere around the 70s. Then his son, Kevin Shiftwright, right, made his race around sometime, somewhere in the Danico 400 of 2005, and and for those of you that don't know or remember, Kevin Shiftwright is a Piston Cup racer who bears the number 121 for Clutch Shade and shares the same body mold as Mac Icar and, and he is also the son of, of Clint Shiftwright. But other than that, oh, and, I, and also, I don't have Kevin Shiftwright. But other than that, what do you guys think? Which Chevy vehicle is your favorite? Which Monte Carlo is your favorite? Which three-time Piston Cup champion is your favorite? And which Piston Cup racer that share his body mold similar to a late 70s to 80s body style is your favorite? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed my 300th video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!